Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Whiskey 101. I've never tasted whiskey. George is a pro. He's part of Seven Grand Society of Whiskey Tasting. Uh, he's going to show me the steps and the how-tos. So George, what's the first step in uh, tasting whiskey? The first step is basically you want to have the right glass. This is called the Glen Kieran glass and um, it's known for its tapered mouth and a wide bowl so you can when you get the whiskey in here you'll really be able to see the colors and it's tapered at the nose so you can really get your nose in there and smell the whiskey and if you're going to any real whiskey tastings they will be pouring whiskey into this glass because it's the preferred tasting method of whiskey so the name again was Glen Kieran Glen Kieran yes so if you can they sell them at Bevmo for like 10 bucks and definitely a good investment if you're interested in tasting good whiskeys and frequently doing so. So the whiskey we're going to taste today actually is uh, from Brookladic. It was actually featured in our Father's Day gift guide. We've broken into it since then. <laughs> and uh, what you want to do is you want to pour about one and a half to two ounces of whiskey. So so guys, there's, there's a difference. There's drinking whiskey and there's tasting whiskey. Today we're going to be doing tasting, so it's more I'm going to um, experience the aroma, the flavor, everything. So now that you have the whiskey in there, what you want to do is you want to hold it up to a light and you want to kind of notice the color. And this one's, you know, pretty light, you can see. It's really light. So what this will tell you is really not much other than how light or dark it is. Usually darker whiskeys have a more smoky, bolder flavor and the lighter whiskeys are more light and palatable. But honestly, most whiskey makers add coloring to their whiskey to keep it consistent. And um, the next thing you want to do is you want to smell the whiskey. So get your nose really in there. And you notice the first time it kind of like singes the nostrils, yeah, right? It hits you a little bit. Yeah. But you want to smell it three times. So smell it again. And then one more time. What, what are you getting? I mean, honestly, there's no wrong answer. It's just kind of like if, if there's a memory that comes to mind is what you kind of want to go for. Like this reminds me of kind of vanilla cookies that my mom used to make actually. Well, it's um, it's not as strong as, as the whiskeys I smelled in the past. Mm -hmm. um, the first one was, was, really, was, was, was really strong. The third was a lot lighter. I did smell like a honey. I don't know mm -hmm. if, that's, if there's a honey in there's, there. There's no wrong answer. If, yeah. if anyone tells you that, no, there's none of that in there, don't listen to them because everyone's smells, senses are different. So I did smell honey. It didn't smell oaky, which is what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's pretty, I smell, I smell that honey. It smells sweet. Right. So the next, the next thing that you want to do is you want to tilt the glass at a 45 degree angle, like so, and then roll the, roll the whiskey around so it coats the glass. And then what you'll see is, is you'll see little legs rolling down. And oh, I see them. Yeah. And you see the slower they roll down is the more flavor that's in there. It's not going to tell you if it's good flavor, bad flavor. It's just going to tell you, you know, how long it was sitting in a barrel and how much flavor got into the whiskey. So and these are moving pretty slow. Yeah, so. these took a while to to start, you know, like, I don't see anything because yeah, it took them a while. Yeah. And, and then so. the width of the legs is going to tell you alcohol content, which isn't so important because it tells you on the bottle. <laughs> but if you were doing, I guess, a blind testing, you'd be able to tell a little bit about how much alcohol content is in this. And these are relatively thin. The next part, and really the only part that technically matters, is the tasting. So when you taste it for the first time, you want to really feel it on the, the on your palate, on your okay. tongue, and kind of see if it you know if it stays there a while if you're getting like spicy fruity like kind of the go, flavors yeah it. go for that so cheers huh nice right yeah you know it was a uh, a lot softer than i thought it was gonna be right um those uh now it has like a like a like a smoky finish to it. The back end kind of yeah, kind of hits you with yeah. a little bit of spice and smoke. I, I didn't expect that. I expected more of a sweet because the honey smell. Mm-hmm. Oh, soft, perfect. 
I mean, for my first time, this is <laughs> the best time thus far. Oh well, I hope so. <laughs> and I mean, this is this is a ten-year-old whiskey. It's not, it's not young, but it's not like an eighteen-year-old either. So it's it's a good middle ground to start with, and it's it's unpeated, also single malt Scotch. So it doesn't. What peat means is I was going to ask you. Yeah. What's, so peat means peat means when when they're uh, basically you have to dry the barley somehow. And in America for bourbon, they just use dryers, okay. right? But in Scotland, they didn't have, at the time, they didn't have like dryers to dry them. So they would burn peat, which is the only method they had to burn. And the, the peat is like a moss type thing that, that burns with really heavy smoke. So all the peat gets into the barley. Oh, wow. And that's what makes it taste like you're like walking through a bonfire. And this is, this is my, my very first time whiskey tasting. So, um... I'm excited for more. Yeah. We're actually gonna go tonight to Seven Grand and do a, a more formal whiskey tasting, which will be my second time. Yeah, trying it. Seven Grand actually does a great thing. If you're in the LA or San Diego area, they have the owners or the brand representatives of all these different whiskeys come in and tell you like the brand story. Like actually tonight, we're actually gonna be tasting Brook Lodic again. Nice. So we'll taste four different whiskeys from them and these guys are like rock stars in the whiskey world. If just if you are aware at all, they do a bunch of limited releases, which are very hard to get your hands on. But since we're members of the Whiskey Society and I get to bring a guest, um, you're welcome. I'm the guest. Thank you. We're gonna try a bunch of rare whiskeys that would probably be three hundred to four hundred dollars a bottle to get our hands on, and so hard to find. But we get to try four different ones tonight. Now that we've been talking for so long. Need to get back to the trying. So the last part is the finish. Basically, how it feels once you've swallowed it, and if it, you know, if, if the flavor stays with you or it disappears quickly, and what you're kind of getting on the back end. So let's try it again, and tell me what you feel on the back end. That I, I get that aroma that comes out, oh, but it's uh. It's not your usual burning sensation, right? That you get with your cheap, with your cheap whiskey. <laughs> I mean, that you're used to. Do you get the the like the the back of your throat just feels like warm? Yes. Do you get that? Yes. I'm getting that too. Is that common in whiskey? Yeah. I mean, it depends on on the style of whiskey. It, it's all honestly, it's all on your taste buds too. If if people didn't react differently to because different whiskeys. I'm still tasting like a uh, like a nice finish. Uh, it's not strong. It's not overwhelming. Mm-hmm. But it's, uh, I feel like I just had a mint. Right. You know? right? Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it's not your typical alcohol uh, flavor, your alcohol breath. It just smells nice. Yeah. Thank you, George, for my first whiskey tasting. Uh, I'm looking forward to many more to come. Exactly. And uh, we're thinking about doing this once a month. So if any of you guys are in the LA area and would like to kind of get together, taste some whiskeys with us, uh, shoot us an email. Our email is listed down below. And um, for links to, what we're wearing and this whiskey right here. Check the description box below. Be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge, and uh, drop us a comment and tell us what your favorite whiskey is and if we should try it. Cheers. Thanks.